Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to discuss uh, panels and publishing to the flight simulator. Now, I've got my Sim EFB manager running in the background. That has to be running in the background uh, in order to sort of deliver the content to the panels. Really, I've pinned it to uh, my start bar down the bottom here. Um, let's just go back to that. Uh, I'm going to do some videos on how to create flight plans, so I don't really want to go into that. But, you know, basically you've got a category, which is basically folders you can put your flight plans in. Uh, I've got a list of flight plans I can pull up. Um, but you can see under each flight plan, I've got a departure airport and information. Now, this information automatically is sucked from our online database. And I've got an arrival airport. There's my departure and my arrival airport. Now, I found various charts um, to do with this airport here, and I've stored them in there, screen grabbed them, grabbed them basically, and that's going to form a database. So if I create a, another flight plan with this airport in, then this information will be shared with the next flight plan. So if you frequently want to fly out of one airport, you know, you're not going to research the same airport over and over again. Here I have my flight plan here I've typed in with a little bit of detail. In fact, this one came, this one was inspired by uh, FS Academy VFR training, excellent little course. I did it on VR and that really inspired me to write this program because I couldn't see their their notes. But yeah, there's my flight plan. I've got Flight Simulator open. I've obviously installed the panels already. I'm just going to press publish. I'm going to publish this as normal. Um, if I was in VR, I'd press this button here, that which would make all the fonts and the images a lot larger. If I'm not actually interested in seeing this information within the simulator, I can actually just publish it to an external browser and still use all the features of uh, SimEFB. So let's just publish that. We see that pop up there. Switch over into the simulator. Let's uh, go up here. So here we got the, our three panels. The first panel is optimized for text. So here we can see, you know, in the manager, we had a tab for the departure airport. So all the information for the departure airport is in here. And of course, if I didn't want all this information, I could have just deleted some of it before I published it. And then if we scroll down, we've got our flight plan. So we can expand all nice sections it's added a little bit of formatting it should be adding the ETA eventually um, this is kind of a beta release and then we've got our departure airport here now any images we have um, gathered for the departure and arrival airport or our flight plan are actually um, down the bottom um, we can specify them actually in the notes but the idea of this panel is really for your notes and your flight plan to be displayed. The second and third windows are slightly different in that all they do is uh, list all the different images, or maps, charts we have uh, acquired for our flight plan uh, using screen grab and various methods. But the idea is, you know, you can read your notes and you can have your map over here. So there's my map of my flight plan. There's where I'm going to take off from. And in the top right hand corner, there's three very small unobtrusive buttons. So I can zoom in and I can zoom out. And there's also a home button. So the home button would take me back to my menu. I can see my different maps there. And of course, if I use the third one, I could have uh, like um, an airport view up here. Oh, that's uh, that's a uh, aerial view. Let's put the airport view up so I can easily navigate around the airport. And there I can see my departure plan. And uh, on the right here, I'm heading out of runway blah, 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 21, isn't it? 21, something like that. So I can see my elevation and uh, I can check my comms frequencies and I can have them all sold by side. And of course, if we click on these, we can roll them out the way so we can easily position those somewhere else in the screen. Uh, the whole idea behind this was actually to display them in VR. It's uh, because while you're in VR, you can't have a chart on your desk in front of you because it would break the immersion. So I think uh, that really covers um, 
the SIM EFB panels. Thank you very much for watching.